Hey, what's going on and welcome back. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I am not too motivated today, but Okay, not but, but I'm not gonna set any goals, not really gonna set any expectations, just gonna enjoy the process. I would like to pull the engine out. I got some stuff in the interior that I gotta do first, then we'll get it out, potentially split the transmission, go through the clutch, the flywheel, how the whole process works, a little bit of knowledge, a lot more entertainment, and then from there, maybe we'll get into the sufferings, but uh, that's wishful thinking. Anyways, enjoy. completely lost. He's made a movement, not realizing that Firmino was going to do what he did. And then it was about just getting power behind it and the sufficient power to, to keep it away from Gazaniga. There's a good game on, so I'm a little distracted, but we got the hoist all set up. A little bit tricky in the back there. Got the engine harness out of the firewall. Got everything disconnected, or at least I think so, but that's part of the process. Time to pull. So I got the engine removed. Transmission is split now. And this is kind of your clutch basics 101. We'll start here. You've got your clutch pedal. So when you push on this pedal, it's attached to this rod. Kind of attaches right here. Forcing this rod into your master cylinder. Your master cylinder then pushes fluid down this line into your clutch slave cylinder. In this case, the clutch slave is attached to the bell housing and it forces on this fork. And as you can see, this fork forces this release bearing, which in this case is actually unserviceable. You can hear it. shouldn't sound like that, but it forces it into your pressure plate against these tongs, which releases your clutch from your pressure plate. Now this is pretty overkill for a stock K, especially a single hammer. These are pretty grabby clutches. I'm not a huge fan of six pucks, especially for the street. I've also heard, well, in this case, at least it has springs. If you got yourself a clutch without springs, they're pretty hard on the transmission. I inspected the flywheel. It's in pretty good shape. There's a couple of heat cracks, but I've seen worse. And there's a little bit of life left on this, not much. It's a little bit tight in here, but this is the back of the engine here. This is your rear main seal. This one's pretty gummed up. In the case that you're replacing your clutch for whatever reason, this is a good opportunity to change your rear main seal. They're pretty simple once you got access to it. And if it ever leaks, it's quite a pain to change. And on this side here, this is your starter. So what happens, you can actually see the teeth. When you engage your starter, it forces this out. 
and it engages with the teeth on your flywheel and that's what starts your vehicle. Well, there's a lot more to it, but that's at least what gets it turning over. And you can see it better on this side. And the guts here starter, you can maybe see it right here. The lighting isn't perfect. Yeah, so that's kind of the basics on how the clutch works. I got a couple things still to remove in the interior here. So let's get to it. Okay, come check this out. I got a kick out of this. Okay, this is the fuel sending unit. And uh, I don't think from the factory it comes with tuck tape installed. A little bit of an aftermarket mod. So when I seen that, I thought, well, certainly there's got to be a reason for that. Perhaps there's an aftermarket fuel pump. And for those of you who do not know, this is the sending unit. And then you pop this off. Okay, so this is the fuel sending unit, and here is the fuel pump. Now I was hoping it was aftermarket, and unfortunately it's just OEM. But what caught my eye is inside the tank is a leaf. That is a seriously big leaf. <laughs> I don't know how that got in there, but that certainly made me laugh. You don't see that every day. There should not be a leaf in there. Just an FYI. And that's it for today. Whew. I'm exhausted. And on top of that, I'm pretty filthy. But most importantly, I am hungry. I exceeded my expectations. This car is ready for the junkyard. Now you're probably thinking, why didn't you try to salvage it? It's rough. And by that, might be a little bit of an understatement. It's lived a pretty hard life. And the original intention was to part it out, help some friends out, and send it to the junkyard. And by that, I hope you potentially learned something from this or at least got some entertainment out of it. I guarantee you there will be, per se, different or even, and I hope, better content to come. How you felt about this video, please leave in the comments below. Things I can work on, things I can improve on, and some positives. Would love to hear it. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the journey. Till next time, take care.